good morning students so i think all of you are fine as the lockdown is going on so we have to continue our online class so today's class will be conducted on light chapter class 10 science and bsc the chapter 10 light chapter refraction and refraction and this is part 2 part 2 one i have already passed now we have to go for part 2 in part 2 today we have to discuss some basic point the basic point of mirror because we are in the reflection part so reflection is caused by the object known as the mirror mirror is a smooth reflecting surface we can say any metal polished well polished metal will be a mirror a glass painted back side can uh, used as a mirror so mirror is a smooth well polished reflecting surface so on mirror we have to talk some basic points let us see what points we have to discuss today so today's discussing point where is my stick uh, today's discussing point is uh, today's discussing point is uh, pole center of curvature radius of curvature principal axis principal focus focal length aperture these are the main points related to the mirror so let us see this is a mirror and i have told you two type of mirrors are there are spherical mirror two types one is concave mirror one is convex mirror so can you see can you say now me what type of mirror is it say you what type of mirror is it concave concave right this is concave mirror because in this mirror this side is reflecting surface this side is uh, that is rock surface so here reflection takes place if the reflecting surface bends inwards then it is called the concave mirror so in concave mirror you see what are the various terms used what a, it may be concave mirror convex mirror that is called spherical mirror in spherical mirror all these points we have to discuss now in spherical mirror first we will come pole of the mirror which can be denoted by capital p now what is pole of the mirror which part of this mirror is called pole of the mirror so here you see this from here to here mirror part is there and if this is the mirror part and the midpoint of this mirror part is generally considered as the pole of the mirror so the meaning of the pole of the mirror is geometrical midpoint of the mirror so this is the p is near about the geometrical midpoint midpoint of the mirror and midpoint of the mirror is known as the pole of the mirror which is denoted by capital p i think clear okay then we will come to second point center of curvature center of curvature is denoted by capital c what do we mean by center of curvature c is the line the center of sphere of which mirror is a part is called center of curvature so as it is a spherical mirror so this part is coming from a sphere definitely if we will produce this line here and this line here definitely we will come to a circular part or spherical part and this is a part of the sphere and if spherical part is there then in the sphere there must be a center so this center is known as the center of sphere and this this center of the sphere is called as the center of curvature of spherical mirror so that is called as c now third point is radius of curvature which is denoted by capital r let us see what is the meaning of radius of curvature the radius of curvature of which mirror is a part that is r is equal to 2 a formula is there so the meaning is that if it is center then from center to the mirror any line joining that is called the radius of curvature because we know when we see suppose this is a spherical mirror sphere 
and from this sphere we have taken this mirror and as it is a sphere there must be a center this is called center of curvature now from here to here the midpoint is this one this is called the pole of the mirror now the line joining here or lining joining here or joining here all these are known as the radius but we have to take generally radius of curvature on the principal axis we'll talk about the principal axis after that so the distance from center to the pole of the mirror on the principal axis is known as the radius of curvature so from here to here is known as the radius of curvature that is denoted by capital r that is called the radius of curvature next four point principal axis this is a very important term what do you mean by principal axis this the straight line passing through center of curvature c and pole of the mirror p of the mirror that is called the principal axis so let us see what is principal axis the principal axis is here generally the principal axis is here that is the line the it is a straight line which is proceeding both side it will continue this side it will continue this side also so this is a line line has both the arrangement so the line passing through the center of curvature that is c and the pole of the mirror the line which pass through the c and b of the mirror is generally called principal axis it is limitless it can be produced in the left side it can be produced in the right side in finite that's a principal axis is a line now shortly we can write pa or general principal axis now fifth point is principal focus principal focus means what that is denoted by capital f principal focus let us see what is principal focus the point on the principal axis where all the rays traveling parallel to principal axis converge or seems to be diverge after reflection from the mirror that is called the principal focus denoted by capital f let us see where is principal focus in this figure so this point you can see this point this is center of curvature this is principal uh, pole of the mirror this is the radius of curvature and in the middle of the radius of curvature that is c to p that is r what we called r the midpoint of the r is generally called as the principal focus but literally we have to define in a different way what is principal focus the principal suppose if we draw the parallel ray this is ray this is also ray the light ray coming from source if they will be parallel to the principal axis after reflection it cannot pass out because it is the op uh, opaque body that is a smooth surface then it will pass through the this point on the principal axis this also will pass through the this point in the principal axis if the ray downside also then as it is parallel to the principal axis then after reflection it will pass through the principal focus so you can see these are known as the reflected ray and these are known as the incident ray when incident ray are parallel to the principal axis after striking on the mirror they will return back and that ray is known as the reflected ray and this reflected ray will pass through a common point on the principal axis that common point is known as the principal focus capital f i think clear principal focus okay let us see focal length what do you mean by focal length? focal length is a length is a measurement is a distance focal length according to this line the distance between the pole and the principal focus is known as the focal length let us see what is focal length this is the principal focus i have already uh, explained principal focus to pole this is the focal length from the distance between pole and the principal focus this distance is known as the focal length and it is denoted by small a principal focus is denoted by capital a and principal uh, focal length is denoted by small f 
So now the relationship of small f and the r is small f is equal to r by 2. R means radius of curvature. The half of the radius of curvature is called as focal length. Or the double of the focal length is known as the radius of curvature. Clear I think? This is the relationship. Now we will come to the last term that is aperture. What do you mean by aperture? The size of the mirror. I have seen the mirror is from here to here. This is the size. The size of the mirror is known as generally aperture of the mirror. So these are the major basic points related to the spherical mirror. I think clear about. Let us come another part that is called Cartesian sign con uh, convention of spherical mirror. We have discussed different terms of the spherical mirror. Now, we have to discuss Cartesian sign convention of spherical mirror. What do you mean by Cartesian sign convention? That means when we use the mirror for different purposes, for practical application, for the numerical solution, then we have to use some symbols and we have to use some signs and that sign and symbol related to the spherical mirror is generally called Cartesian sign convention or new Cartesian sign convention. So there are some points under this category that is Cartesian sign convention. What are the main points of the Cartesian sign convention when we use the mirror? What point we have to keep in our mind that is called the Cartesian sign convention. Let us see. First point of the Cartesian sign convention. Object is always placed towards the left of the mirror. This is very common point. That is Cartesian sign convention. When we use the mirror, there must be the object. And object may be on the principal axis or out of the principal axis. It may be far object, infinite. We cannot measure the distance. That is far. Or it may be near about the mirror which can be measured from the pole of the mirror. Whatever may be. But the object is always placed in front of the mirror. The smooth surface is known as the front and the rough surface is known as the behind. So always the object is placed either this side that is in front of the mirror that is called the left side of the mirror. Never object is placed in the right side because right side is not reflecting surface. So always in front of the reflecting surface object is placed that is object is placed left side of the or in front of the spherical mirror. Second Cartesian sign convention. All the measurements are done from the pole of the mirror parallel to principal axis. All the measurement because when we suppose place the object here, suppose we have to place the object here. If we place the object here, then what we have to do? The principal axis is here, we have to place the object here now, you see. Object is like that. Then it is always placed in the left hand side. And the, all the measurements, now the distance from mirror to object is called the object distance and that what distance the object is placed from the mirror to find out we have to measure it and to measure what we have to do we have to measure from the pole of the mirror to the object not from the object to the mirror that's why all the measurement may be object distance may be image distance may be center of curvature distance may be focus of the distance or focal length all the measurements are measured from the pole of the mirror as the origin point. Third point is that distance measured in the direction of incident ray is taken as positive. What does it mean? That means when object we keep here, then the light ray pass from here to here. So this ray is known as the incident ray. What is incident ray? The ray which pass from the object towards the mirror. That is called the incident ray. If any measurement we measure in the direction of incident ray. Suppose now it is going left to right. If we measure from pole to in this direction. Then all the direction is taken as positive. 
suppose from here we will measure this point then it is called the suppose 5 cm coming we will write plus 5 cm not minus 5 cm all the measurements taken in the direction of that is the incident ray is taken as positive that means shortly we can say the from the pole of the mirror towards right side is positive and similarly all the measurements are uh, measurement in the direction of incident ray are positive and all the measurement in the opposite direction of the incident ray are negative so as it is going left to right we have to start measure from the pole of the mirror and if we will go in this way then all these measurements are taken as negative so this side is taken as negative this side is taken as positive mirror is here right side positive left side negative in front negative behind positive then distances are perpendicular upward to the principal axis are taken as positive again suppose this is the object now this is perpendicular to the principal axis 90 degree so this height when we measure from the principal axis upward perpendicular then that height is generally taken as positive suppose this is the object or tree tree is a object present in front of the mirror so now if we want to measure the height of the tree then suppose it is 5 meter then we write plus 5 meter never minus 5 now just opposite the distances measured perpendicular downward to the principal axis are negative suppose now the image is formed here now this is the image then downside it is principal axis then its height if it is 4 meter then we have to write the height of image is minus 4 meter why minus 4 meter because it is measured below the principal axis perpendicular so it is minus 4 meter then next point is uh, so these are from here to 1 to 4 point are known as the Cartesian sign convention of spherical mirror so two part over one is different term related to the spherical mirror another is known as the Cartesian sign convention of the spherical mirror I think clear okay few points says the board is very short you see the board is very short and it is not to uh, take all the big class in same time so I have divided the class into small small time or small fraction so today two point we have discussed and one more point I have included here some basic point on the mirror and mirror formula so let us see some symbol we use here some symbol are used what are called these symbols that is a uh, object distance from the pole of the mirror if suppose object is placed here now we have to measure from the mirror to the object that is called the object distance p to this point suppose this point is suppose a so p to a when we measure we have to go in left side that is minus and suppose it is coming 20 centimeter then we will write minus 20 centimeter and that is both distance object distance so object distance from the pole of the mirror is generally shortly we symbolically we write q not writing object distance we can write q symbolically and that is always taken as negative because always it is placed in front of the mirror or left side of the mirror so always u value magnitude of the u is always minus suppose here to here is 20 centimeter we have to write u equal to 20 minus 20 centimeter not plus 20 centimeter always u value will be minus or negative image distance from the pole of the mirror image distance so when we uh, put any object in front of the mirror its image will be formed so this image distance is also measured from the pole of the mirror and that image distance is taken v symbol symbol is used v for image distance it is symbol is used v and that is depend on the position so if the image is formed in front of the mirror we take negative if the image will form right side of the behind the mirror we take positive suppose from here suppose image is formed here 
Now it is 15 centimeter. Then we write V equal to 15 centimeter minus 15 centimeter. But if the image will be formed this side, then suppose this is this is 10 centimeter. Then we will write V is equal to plus 10 centimeter, not minus. If V is from the left side, minus. If V is from the right side, then plus in the spherical mirror. So image distance is V. Then image uh, distance gone. Then height of the object above the principal axis is called H. Height of the object. Suppose this is the object. Now this object name is suppose A B. Now what is the height of this object? If it is suppose 5 cm, then we will write object height that is H. Height for H and for object only simple H. H means height of the object and when we get to suppose 5 cm, we write H is equal to 5 cm always positive because it is present above the principal axis perpendicular. I have told in the Cartesian sign convention. So object height is taken as H and its value will be always positive. Then the height of the image above the principal axis is positive. Height of the image we take H dash as height of the object is H and height of image is H dash. Always height of image we take H dash. So H dash is height of image and it will be it may be positive, it may be negative. When it will be positive? When the image will be formed above the principal axis. This is the principal axis. Now suppose image is forming here, then we will take it is positive. H dash is positive. Suppose 5 coming, then H dash is 5 meter or 5 centimeter. Suppose the image is forming downside here, then we will take it minus. If it will be from this side, minus, if it will be from this side, upside, what? It will be plus. So above the principal axis plus, below the principal axis minus. So image distance may be positive, may be negative depending upon its Fermi sum. So these are the various points today we will discuss and further next class we will go the ray diagram. How the image is formed? What are on the what principle the image is formed when the object is placed different different position in front of the mirror? That is very interesting. So I think uh, you understood today's point. So go through the book and uh, divide line by line, then you can understand detail. The next class again, we will see the image formation and rule of image formation. That day you have to sit with paper, plain paper, scale, pencil, so that you can also do the ray diagram with me also. So, for today, this much, I think you are not coming outside, at school it's closed and the coaching center also closed, but private uh, guidance is also closed. So, in this uh, condition, you, you have to stay at home and stay safe because this is a lockdown, three is going on. Now, some part in the market are open, which is very dangerous for uh, us uh, according to coronavirus that's why we have to be alert for coronavirus because now public places are now open though distance in, uh, uh, that is dis uh, distancing is followed but still then we do not know we are, who is coronavirus positive person who is negative person we do not know by touching by coming across we may be infected so stay at home and uh, revise practice time to time how much we can provide we are providing through the dd uh, kohima uh, nagaland board also providing some online classes bright tut providing online classes zoom up also providing online classes different apps are also providing online classes so all the facility you try to utilize and make yourself ready till school open thank you very much